Always a pleasure to be joined by our friends here at Jack Mornings, Kelly Abbott, of course, and Dominic Diamond. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Uh, morning. This was, there was a lot of speculation yesterday around what NASA was going to announce, and now we know that they did indeed find salt water on Mars. This has great implications. Are you a space geek? Does it, does it really have I great think it implications? Does. <laughs> well, the thing is, I am a huge space geek. I'm a big uh, sci fi TV and movie fan. I do not believe at all that there is intelligent life in space. There's more chance of intelligent life in Edmonton than <laughs> there is in space, right? It's just that, no, I don't believe it. See, I do. I hope my family in Edmonton isn't watching. Yeah, I, I, be I believe there's probably little green Martians watching, uh, watching us back. I do. And then maybe this proves it, right? How could there not be life with, with the water. vast expansiveness that's, of the universe and now that's, that's a these discoveries? That's an interesting point, but this is what we're going to be talking about in the show today. If there is, why have they not got in touch with us yet? What is so bad about us? We've got great cable options. We've got amazing sports. We've got lots of phenomenal stuff. We've got skateboards and everything on this planet. If there is intelligent life, why have they never got in touch with us? Maybe they're more intelligent and they're beyond all the Twitter and the Facebook and the cable and all of that. I, Did you not see Men in Black? <laughs> they walk among us. They're here. Will Smith got it right. <laughs> They've just made us forget, Kelly, haven't they? Yeah. They have been here. They just clicked on the whole thing. Whoa, like that. That's, That's it. That's just it. Maybe we should ask Chris Hatfield for his opinion. He'll be on shortly after 7 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Awesome. See, he'll be excited because he's desperate for another trip. He wants to go to Mars now, doesn't he? I think he wants to be a rock star. He has a new album. <laughs> Maybe you'll be playing Chris Hatfield. <laughs> <laughs> the stranger yeah. things have happened. Uh, what else do you guys have going on here at Jack of M? Well, we have to Jack the Bus still. You know about our Jack yeah. the Bus uh, promotion. This Saturday, we're going to get on that bus with 40 people, start kicking people off, and when we're done, one person will win $10,000 cash, and there are only a few chances left here, and one of them coming up today. On Saturday, you could be kicking people off in the snow. That could happen. That's okay. It just makes it more dramatic. <laughs> it, makes it, it makes it way more dramatic. Thanks yeah. very much, you guys. And let's find out if there is indeed snow in the forecast. Craig?